one. So we're already starting off a bit different than I normally do. I hate talking through my videos, but um, I would rather just put text on the screen if I have to point something out. But today we're doing something completely different. So whenever I first started doing paint pours, I instantly wanted to like jump on it if I saw someone trying something out. Uh, but you know, with everything going on, we can't go out to a craft store as easy as we want to. So I thought I would try to do a paint pour with things just lying around the house that a typical like person would have, not someone who's necessarily super crafty. Um, of course, if you have close to the right supplies, use those. Um, but I'm pretending I don't have any of that. So instead of a canvas today, we have a binder uh, edge. I went ahead with ripped off the plastic, so it's just the bare black. Um, I've, I have a feeling I should peel this off, but it's pretty stuck on there. But instead of a canvas, we're gonna use this. Obviously, if you have a canvas, use that. Um, the only thing I couldn't really find a substitute for things that people might not have is paint. I thought about it a little bit. Maybe food coloring would work. Um, I even thought about maybe like tearing apart some eyeshadow panels and mixing it in with everything, but we're gonna use paint. If you don't have paint, try food coloring and let me know how that goes. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna do just a really easy uh, flip cup pour, but I wanted to go ahead and mix paint in front of everyone just because we're not using Floetrol. I know not everyone has a gallon of Floetrol laying around like I do. So let's go ahead and get started. So I picked a pretty warm, um, pretty warm colors today. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the yellow since I have a yellow cup already. So I really don't want to use too much. I always make way too much paint. Oops, sorry. Um, so I'm gonna just put in about like enough to maybe cover the bottom if it's all spread out. And today, instead of using Floetrol, we're gonna use glue. Now I've had this glue since probably third grade, so let's hope it actually comes out of the bottle. This one is solidified. So let's see if I can get this other one to work. I have used glue once before. I think it did end up cracking or it's just the fact that I put the heat gun on it way too much. Um, oh, oh, we might be able to get some more out of this. Other one, see some liquid. Let's see. Oh, she's gonna need some water. Oh no, oh no. Hope your glue does not look like this. <laughs> Again guys, third grade, third grade glue. Oh. Might need a little bit more water than normal. We're problem solving. I should have grabbed a paper towel. All right, let's see if I can salvage this. I don't know if I'll be able to. Don't think this glue is gonna work. Glue will definitely work for this purpose, but obviously my glue is way too old. It's just too thick. So what we're gonna do instead, um, we are going to paint and water. Paint and water. So let's try this again. Go with yellow. 
Now you're gonna have to use a lot more paint to keep the consistency thick. Um, not something I like doing because I feel like it's just a lot of paint, but for this purpose, it'll work. Just a little bit of water. We don't want it to get too runny. You still want it to move around the, um, not a canvas since this is a binder, but um, you still want it to be able to move, but you don't want it to be so runny that it just falls off. So, let me mix all these up real quick. We're going to fast forward here. mixed up just try to keep them at a consistency that like you don't want to feel like you're stirring water it want to you want to have like some thickness to it um, and you can see it like pretty much keeping a little mound on there once it drops I don't know if you can for sure see that but you don't want to feel like just straight up water and then to make cells which are those little circles in there you can use silicone. Um, typically with Floetrol, with the thickness of it, it'll create its kind of some on its own. But I don't think paint and water are just going to do that by themselves. So I thought maybe let's try adding a little bit of just some straight up dish soap in there. Just to see what happens. We're both new to this, so let's see. Give that a stir. And if anyone tries this, please send them to me. <laughs> I think it'll be very interesting. And then this yellow is a little too liquidy for me. So we're gonna pop some yellow back in there. all my yellow so we're gonna leave it and now we're just gonna do an easy flip cup technique so let's go ahead and just get another empty cup and you can use as many colors as you want um, whatever colors you want you just um, I would layer them in the cup
part. Let's see if I can do this with a tripod in my way. Um, let's see. So, hello, there's my name. Well, this is hard because the canvas at least gives away a little bit. All right, so I have very firm pressure. I have my hand on top, right where the cup is, and my hand on the bottom holding the cup, obviously. So we're gonna try to flip this over and not get paint everywhere. Let's see. All right. These colors are starting to peek out. Then let's see. I always get too much paint, but let's try to spread her out a little bit. I see some paint globs. Very yellow. That's just to help it get covered. Okay, let's see. Then I just grabbed a paper plate, I set it underneath here so it doesn't get stuck. Paper towels are always good to have on standby. Interesting. Also, <laughs> leave it sit for a little bit. To see if anything pops up. Not sure why the paint's globbing up so bad, but okay. So it's officially next day. It's mostly dry. There's a wet spot right here and right here, but I actually don't mind how it turned out. I don't see any cracking or anything, which is surprising to me. I see a couple cells, tiny cells, trying to pop up uh, compositionally. I don't mind it. I like the yellow right in the middle. The bottom reminds me of flames. I can't tell if this is the surface of the sun or nacho cheese. <laughs> but let me know if any of you guys try it. Send me pictures to my Facebook. And yeah, thanks for watching.